The chassis tuning of the new Cayman is based on that of the 718 Boxster, which was also retuned and it was adapted to the new vehicle. For the Cayman, we individually retuned the chassis based on the body stiffness characteristic. This means that we were also able to use stiffer suspension springs as well as stiffer stabilizers due to the body stiffness, which improves the driving dynamics while still leaving us with adequate comfort. We were able to adopt the damping characteristics directly from the new 718 Boxster. Both the base model Cayman, as well as the Cayman S, are based on a conventional chassis. The PASM chassis, with a 10 mm lower ride height, is available as an initial option, and for the first time, there is also a PASM sport chassis, which lowers the ride height by 20 mm. This means that the car sits closer to the ground, has a lower center of gravity, and that is, of course, an outstanding chassis when it comes to agility and sportiness, yet still offers sufficient ride comfort. This adjustable chassis gives you two chassis setups to choose from, the PASM Comfort and PASM Sport which allow you to select the car's driving characteristic individually. Nevertheless, the adjustable damper system actively adapts the chassis characteristic, the shock absorber map to the driving situation and driving conditions. Yes, of course, there are several development stages between this and the 981. Taking our PASM chassis as an example, we introduced a new controller with more sensitivity and accuracy. We added more sensors. We fitted each wheel with a wheel level sensor. In other words, a height sensor over each wheel suspension, as well as three accelerometers, two on the front axle and one on the rear axle. With this extensive control system, it is possible to give the vehicle an individual and sporty tuning. We developed completely new tires for the 718 generation. A new generation of tires developed in cooperation with the suppliers with lots of improvements. A key focus was placed on lowering the rolling resistance as well as on reducing stopping distances. For instance, we were able to reduce the rolling resistance by 7% in comparison to the predecessor model, while shortening the stopping distance by about 4% with the new generation of tires. Over and above that, the new tires are also considerably better than the previous generation of tires when it comes to wet handling as well as dry handling. The new 718 Cayman has a new feature, the PSM Sport Mode. The PSM Sport Mode allows drivers with sporting ambitions to test the car to its limits and to drive it at its limits. The control thresholds are extended much further so that drivers can drive the car at its limits relatively safely. Over and above this, they have to be in full control of the vehicle and control it themselves at all times. If necessary, the PSM system is active in the background. We call this the emergency anchor. In other words, if the car reaches the BS control range, the PSM system assures vehicle stabilization. The new 718 Cayman models also feature the tried and tested PTV, or Porsche Torque Vectoring System. This system gives the driver greater agility when entering a bend. In other words, when cornering, a brake input is initiated on the wheel on the inside of the bend, generating a yaw moment, 
i.e., a turning motion around a vertical axis, making the car more agile while cornering. When accelerating out of the corner, the car has more traction thanks to the mechanical differential lock. Of course, to live up to the expectations placed in us of having the best brakes in the sports car segment, we also needed to completely rework the brake system and adapt it to the higher power output of the new B4 engines, these powerful high-torque engines. For the 718 Cayman, we have used the same S-brake system as on the previous model, which is larger on the front axle and also features larger brake discs. The 718 Cayman S also uses a new brake caliper and a stronger brake system from the second generation of the 911, which is also a significant improvement in comparison to its predecessor and thus enables us to achieve such excellent braking distances, excellent braking performance in every aspect, and thus live up to our claim of being the best in class. For the new 718, we made the steering ratio about 10% more direct, giving the car greater agility, spontaneity, as well as comfort when driving slowly, driving around town when parking. But it's on country roads that it really gains agility and performance. Nordschleife? Sure. Of course, it's quite a challenge for Porsche to drive around the Nürburgring Nordschleife with the new car and measure the lap time at the end of a vehicle development process. That is a good yardstick for a vehicle's overall performance. The new 718 Cayman S can complete a lap of the Nürburgring Nordschleife in just 7 minutes and 40 seconds which is an outstanding result in its vehicle segment.